Hello and welcome to a special solo episode of Not the RSL Show because this is unapproved content. I did not consult with the people, but we got some cool stuff. Um, I was going to start with a uh, product review, but then I decided well, it's, it's it's not very... Uh, I don't know, it's like the casual listener, you guys don't care about the equipment that we use, um, but I will touch on them pretty briefly, and we're actually excited for this new uh, season to come up. So what you're listening to right now is a cardoid uh, microphone, it's an Audio-Technica US2035, it's a three-prong XLR microphone, uh, it does require phantom power, so if you are using these bad boys, you're going to have to pick up one of these guys. These guys provide power, runs USB to your computer, adjust your gain, adjust your tones, and you will sound good. Now, if you don't want to spend a group of money, you can actually get what's called a AT2020 uh, USB version of this mic. It's a plug and play. You just, and then boom, right into your, uh, sorry, I just got a Venmo. Guys, um, if you... <laughs> If you guys aren't on Twitter, uh, if you follow the RSL show, um, there were some like breaking things or like a weird launch of this club called Saltair FC. Um, it wasn't supposed to go live for a very long time um, just because we, and I guess I, when I say we, it's me, um, kind of in like the, the phases where we need merch and we need an actual website. Right now, all I've got is stickers and pins but I plan on doing like shirts and hats and shorts and maybe some hoodies and uh, what's real cool is uh, it launched and I think it's like at maybe 200-ish followers in the first day uh, some love from the RSL show some love from the people who have followed the account uh, we've had some cool people again we I'm always uh, you know thinking in we or weave um, but uh, just a really good reception uh, to the logo, and uh, if I'm being honest, and I actually being pretty honest, just because I've had a lot of this tonight, well, just like three swigs, um, there's, a, there's a brand out in New Jersey, and dude, go check them out, like, sure, I want to rival them, but I love their stuff, uh, they're called Asbury Park FC, uh, they've got it figured out, they've had like merch and branding and they've got the presents and they've got like the cool deals out there but they modeled their brand over a uh, an old amusement park and there was nobody else doing it uh, at least nationally that was kind of on that level and so I thought okay well how can I take like what's basically here in my hometown and make something cool uh, like Saltair FC and so I just had the idea. I, I told a few buddies about it, and they're just like, dude, that is a very, very cool idea. I honestly thought that. I was like, oh, maybe I just think it's cool. Uh, but um, originally <laughs> originally reached out to like a company like Fiverr where you can find like independent artists to uh, create a rendering, and it was awful. Like the stuff, like I told them, like, don't put a soccer ball on the logo. Like I don't want a soccer ball. Um, everything I got back had a soccer ball. So I just decided, I'm like, uh, I'll just design the stupid thing. So, um, again, it's at Saltair FC, a very cool reception. Um, you guys are ordering the commemorative pins, uh, real cool stuff. Um, I think I looked at my phone, I think like at 136 followers in and, uh, it was, man, it was just like such a cool feeling to just think that there's people out there who actually like your design or like thinks it thinks it's as cool as uh you do so um anyways that's that's a that's a rant but okay back to that um go check that out real cool we're gonna work on some cool stuff and when i say we it's because i want to involve my friends because i have so many talented friends who uh know how to you know create websites and do videography and photography and they have connections to merch and um, it's just something that I won't be able to do alone, but, uh, so that's why I keep saying we, I, I just know it's going to come to that. Okay. So, uh, back to the RSL show. So we have the zoom H one N. This is a product, uh, that is available for near, it's like a hundred bucks. It has no internal power. It requires batteries 
and uh, this is it, it acts basically as like a mobile recorder. It looks like a microphone. Um, the fuzzy is like totally just my style. Like I just like stuff that's silly. And uh, so yeah, just kind of picture this in interviews. We're gonna be holding it up to like people like Freddie Juarez and uh, hopefully the GM, uh, you know, Elliot over there, and uh, maybe some players. And so we're gonna work on doing uh, more video content and using something like this. Now this is I like this because it's man the quality on this is so good. It li literally probably sounds just as good as this microphone. Uh, but of course you could stuff this in a bag and just kind of be ready to go. Uh, ready to interview staff, players, coaches, friends, whatever it might be. Um, real cool device. Um, it, the only downfall with this is like you always have to like replace batteries and you have to buy like a separate SD card and um, you have to get, you know, at least like a pop filter. But the positives just outweigh like those small little cons and they're like not really even cons. Uh, this thing just kicks ass and um, we're going to get a little bit more of these hopefully, Jake looking at you um this is awesome so this is going to be a game changer we're going to use a lot of uh, uh video content um moving forward and this is going to be in uh, it's just going to be like a, a crucial piece if you if you will all right so the next piece uh we have the road microphone and for the love of oh, i can't remember what this is called i want to say oh yeah, it has a really uh, lame name, but it's actually really, it's a, oh my God, it's a great microphone. Um, it is the Rode Reporter. Super lame name, but I mean, it catches on. They're a great company. Uh, Rode is very, uh, at least in the space of like, I mean, just anything that's audio related, especially to video, like this is a well-known brand. Um, this guy goes for $130. This actually has like, even though it's a three prong XLR, uh, this has internal phantom power. And so you can actually go with this. Uh, you can actually grab a cable. Um, they actually sell these. It's an XLR input to a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. So you can like hook this into an iPhone. You can hook this into a video camera. You can literally just hook this in directly, if I'm thinking correctly. Guys, I bought the wrong cable. Are you? Okay, uh, technical difficulties, but whatever, we're back. Um, okay, so back to the uh, road. Anyways, yeah, I got the wrong cable. It's like, a, I guess it would be like female to female. Easy fix. I really hope they make like a male to female insert. But uh, yeah, um, this is uh, just a great microphone. It's omnidirectional, meaning that when you're interviewing, like sure you could do this and you can do that for like an aesthetic feel. Uh, but also it's just like, it's not as intrusive as holding a microphone like this up to someone's face, right? Just like tickling their nose. Um, so this guy right here is excellent because you can do that. Your hand's kind of out of frame, just like it is here. Um, but then also it doesn't require all of the movement, uh, because it is omnidirectional. You can kind of keep it between your subjects. I could be right here. Another person could be over here and you'd be able to hear them just as clear as day or as clear as night, whatever it might be. Um, so a real, real cool piece of equipment. I just got to get the right cable. Um, but, uh, real cool stuff. I mean, we're looking forward to a really cool season. Um, half of the guys, like we have iPads now, we're going to put out like content during the games. We're going to, uh, be designing things like during the game to pump out towards social media, just to kind of spruce up that aspect of the show and just kind of get more fan engagement. So, uh, this year is just going to be awesome for the RSL show and we're all very excited. Um, putting in work, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's just cool that we get to do what we do. All right. Last piece of this episode is a brief RSL jersey review. And we're talking like brief. And I'm going to turn up the gain here so you can hear me from a distance. All right. This is the kit. Is this like, is this considered like the 2018? Is that what that 
yeah. Great kit. It's a classic. If you didn't listen to the last RSL show episode, uh, we broke that bad boy down. Mitch really loves this kit. He thinks that like this is the identity. Like he thinks like this jersey is it. And I, I mean, I kind of agree. It's very, you know, it's just like, boom. It's like your onesie, twosies, your three C's color concept. It's all good to go. Uh, very clean jersey. I like this guy a lot. However, this jersey, which you can pick up at the team store at Real Salt Lake, and despite what you guys think, we don't get we don't get things for free. Okay, Tyler Gibbons did not come on and give us a free jersey. That's no, that didn't happen. I I wish it would happen. Tyler, if you're watching, dude, give us some free stuff. All right, never mind. Okay, so hundred thirty dollar jersey for the landscape. I don't know what you would call those. People are saying it's a thumbprint. What do you guys think? I mean, a lot of a lot of people uh, express their opinions. I really, what I don't like about this jersey is just the cut or like the stitching. Um, it just has like a very uh, old school FUBU-esque. Uh, like I had a jersey like this. Literally, like the cut, like seams up here, the sleeves, like the thick sleeve here and then also the collar being thick and then just kind of like a v shape i literally owned this jersey in like sixth grade and it was a minnesota vikings jersey but guess what it was my favorite jersey and it was super comfortable um i think that this jersey is gonna look sick i mean i already know it looks cool uh you guys have seen the photos of like albert rusnak natum all the videos aaron herrera shout out um the blue shorts, and I believe they're, man, are they red socks or blue socks? The yellow lettering on the back, the different style, um, it is pretty dope. Also, by the way, uh, we spoke to a real cool gentleman at the RSL team store. If you bought this jersey and it does not have your MLS patches, which uh, the first patch didn't because I guess uh, Adidas is mailing everything kind of separately and they you know, got these before they could get the patches, uh, you can actually run back to the team store per per the guy that works there per the he seemed to be like the head honcho um he said if you have that jersey and it lacks a patch go back in like two to three weeks or when the season starts and they'll just basically iron on that patch for you it's not a stitch pattern uh, but i i personally would want the patch just because that 25 uh commemorative badge is actually really cool i think it's sick uh so i like this jersey Mitch was not a fan. Uh, I think Josh likes it. I mean, he liked it enough to buy it, and Jake likes it, but he feels like Adidas should not have that control where they're basically kind of dictating like what the clubs can do. But however, however, you need to have some kind of outline or some kind of structure because if you didn't, who knows what other clubs would do. And then I, I really think that if everybody had just like free range on their kits... It would probably just degrade the league in a way because then everyone's just doing whatever they want to and somebody could put, I don't know, um, some stupid design on their jerseys. Anyways, the cool thing about Saltair FC, again, plug, uh, we're going to get some jerseys and we have a kit sponsor. We have a kit sponsor and it's freaking cool. And we're going to get some jerseys. So anyways, all right, cool guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I try to keep it brief. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. That's Woody back there taking a nap. Uh, catch you on the next uh, hanging with producer Andy. I, I don't know. I'm not going to do these all the time. All right.